everybody, it is Sam again from the GSLAC STEM team. STEM, of course, standing for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. This week is actually Technology Week from the Weekly Scout Challenge. So we're going to be doing a STEM activity that involves making a piece of technology called a hovercraft. Now, hovercrafts are actually real vehicles, real things. They're also called air cushion vehicles because the way they work, they have a large fan that actually pushes, blows a whole bunch of air underneath the body of the vehicle that makes a cushion of air that they actually float on top of. And it is actually really simple to make your own hovercraft just using some household supplies. So first we're gonna go over what you need and then we're gonna put them together. So first things first, you are going to want uh, something nice and flat. Uh, and that has a hole in the center. I would say that a old CD works best. Be sure you're picking a CD that you don't need anymore. Make sure you ask your parents if it's okay. If you don't have a CD, something like a styrofoam, plastic, or paper plate could work as long as you cut a hole in the center or even a piece of light cardboard. So you're gonna want something like that. The next thing you are gonna want is uh, a cap. And you're gonna want a cap that's like a uh, sports drink cap. So you're gonna want one where the top kind of comes up off of the bottom. So there's a lot of water bottles that have this, sports drinks oftentimes have this. I've actually taken a uh, glue bottle top. This works as well. The other two things we are going to need is a balloon. This is gonna kind of work like our fan. This is gonna be creating our cushion of air. And then last, you're gonna want some way to attach your uh, cap to your CD, and that could be tape. Uh, hot glue actually works really well, but tape works just fine, and it's temporary if you don't know if you still need your CD. So, first things first, we are going to take our cap, and we are going to line it up with the bottom of our disc, the hole in our disc, to make sure that they are overlapping. You don't want it over on the side where the air that you're blowing through doesn't reach the hole. So we're gonna line that up in the center, and then we're just gonna attach it on there. If you had hot glue, you could just go around the edge. But I'm just gonna take some tape, and I'm just going to tape around the edges of my cap. My main goal here is to make it so that when air starts flowing, it doesn't have anywhere to escape except for down. That way we can make that air cushion. So I'm gonna to try to plug up any holes in my disc. I'm gonna do probably another one on each side. And I still see, I think I see a hole there. Let's see one more there. So, not too much tape. Glue will probably be easier, but I don't have hot glue, so I'm just using tape. See, that looks pretty good. Now, all I need to do is blow up and attach my balloon. But before I do, I wanna talk a little bit more about how this works. So right now, we don't have our air cushion uh, happening. So this really isn't a hovercraft just yet. But you can see if I push my disc across the table, it does not go very far. And the reason for that is because there's a force at work here called friction. Friction is a uh, resistance between two surfaces touching each other. Basically, if you have the surface of, uh, of something in an object that drag against each other, it's gonna reduce the amount of movement that you have in an object. Think about uh, trying to slide down a slide, right? There's not a lot of friction there, so you're able to go down pretty fast. But if you put a carpet over that slide, add some friction there, you're probably gonna drag and you're not gonna go as fast or as far. That is friction, and that air cushion that we're gonna make in our hovercraft is really gonna reduce the amount of friction we have. So this is how much friction we're working with right now. Let's actually get our hovercraft working and see the difference. So I'm gonna blow up my balloon. I'm gonna make sure that my cap is actually down. I'm gonna twist my balloon, and then I'm just gonna attach it to the top of my cap. I'm gonna put it all the way down to the bottom, and then I can actually let my balloon unwind a little bit. Let me make sure, there we go, it's all the way down. I can actually let my balloon unwind, and make sure it's nice on top of there. Perfect, now you can see I can let go, and the air won't come out. But what I'm gonna do is as soon as I want my hovercraft to work, I'm going to, without taking off the balloon, raise up that cap 
sports bottle cap and it should let air start to come out. We should make that air cushion. So let's try. Now you can see we have made our hovercraft. We have that cushion of air. We have a reduced amount of friction. We can actually have our hovercraft move. So if you liked what you saw today, feel free to try it out on your own. Uh, also, if you enjoy these kinds of STEM activities, feel free to participate in our virtual STEM fair we have going on. Uh, it's really exciting and we're going to have an award ceremony and everything virtually. So feel free to check that out as well. Thanks for tuning in and I hope you guys keep scouting. Bye.